years and, and NBA careers and still watch them, still have the tapes at home. I think for me at that time, it was very helpful for my confidence uh, to play against players who were, you know, the best in, you know, my level all over the world. It was a great experience for me, uh, you know, playing with the likes of Michael Jordan, Chris Mullen and all those guys. I think the McDonald's game, it's every kid's dream to get, get selected and then to go there and play against the best players in the country. It's a game that you always watch. I mean, as far as high school, it's almost like the Final Four for high school. You get a chance to showcase your talents against the, the other top players in the country. So I think that it's definitely a big game. It was a wonderful feeling. It was something I was proud of, and I can also raise the heads of my parents and uh, you know, my family and my friends back home. This afternoon from St. Louis, Missouri, this beautiful city on the banks of the Mississippi, for the 18th annual McDonald's All-American High School Basketball Game. Just a few miles to the west of the well-known arch, the brand new Keel Center, a beautiful facility, and we should have better than 15,000 gathered here today for this celebration of high school athletics. The East against the West, and good afternoon, everybody. Vern Lundquist with Bill Raftery. Somebody back in New York had a scary idea and decided to let us work together. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad one with all this talent out here. It'll be enjoyable for both of us. Well, Billy, uh, you, you're one of the most hardworking guys I know. You just came in from Seattle, where uh, you did the uh, semifinals on CBS Radio. You saw a number of kids yesterday who played in this McDonald's All-Star game. It's such a punishment having to go out there, too, I might add. Uh, Cornus Williamson, you think of Rasheed Wallace and Jerry Stackhouse, the O'Bannons. They all started in this game years ago for some of them. And it's such a wonderful platform for them to find out how good they are. Michael Jordan had said to me, that taught him that he could play. And I think the same thing for these kids. They'd like to show off for their friends out here and also show the country. We're going to see them the next couple of years. We'll showcase any number of them. Uh, but uh, among those we'll be watching today, Vince Carter, who has just decided to go to North Carolina. He's got your jumping ability, Vernon. Oh, yes. They say pogo stick ability elevates, won the slam dunk contest, a terrific array of releases around the tin. He also is the kind of a kid that looks like he's going to get a lot better, and Dean Smith will have some fun teaching them how to play this game and for the west a young man who's attracted an enormous amount of attention this year kevin garnett out of chicago and what a personality i mean a very happy go lucky kid they feel is the most congenial of groups that they've had at the mcdonald's and i think kevin garnett is one of the reasons he has that total game it's a dilemma for him where should he play he can handle and pass like a guard can run the floor like a forward and dominate up in the glass sensational performer well this is really uh, a day for all of us to sit back and enjoy the athletic talents of these young men young men of whom you will hear so much in the next uh, few years. Back with the starting lineups after this. CBS Sports presents the McDonald's All-American High School Basketball Game, sponsored by McDonald's. What you want is what you get. This marvelous facility called the Keel Center opened last fall. Ice hockey, figure skating, basketball, any number of events here. Seats 20,000, and they expect a really good crowd today. The East All-Stars in their huddles. Devon Marbury, number three, one of the outstanding young guards in the country. And the starting lineups, first of all, for the East, Sam Oki from Wisconsin, Vince Carter, we heard about him, Sharif Abdur Rahim, Ron Mercy, and Stephon Marbury from the West, Albert White from Inkster, Michigan, Derek Hood, Kevin Garnett out of Chicago, Ryan Robertson, a young man who played his high school ball here in the St. Louis area, and Chris Clack from Austin, Texas, L.C. Anderson High School there, he's bound for the University of Texas. The East Coast, Steve Smith, 285 and 18, a career record at the Oak Hill Academy in Mount of Wilson, Virginia. And his counterpart, Dave Lichtefeld from Oakville High School in Oakville, Illinois, not far from St. Louis, 642 wins, 290 defeats, his career at Oakville. And uh, look at this group. They've been uh, on some awfully big games. A blessing for these kids. The only problem, they're going to remember all the little nuances that they're going to perform. The, any hooks, any elbows, they'll bring them back three years hence. Eddie Hightower will throw it up. These uh, three officials, of course, fresh from the NCAA tournament. And here's Mercer controlling. It's Stephon Marbury out of Brooklyn, New York. He is bound for Georgia Tech next year. And you will enjoy watching him, guarded by Ryan Robertson. There's the pick from Sam Oakey out of Cassville, Wisconsin. 
And a quick left foot, left handed shot is in. And both clubs, man, man, Vern. I was waiting for that. <laughs> well, <it's laughs> let the games begin. Oh, it's you know, official, huh? It's kind of like Avery Brundage used to do with the Olympic <laughs> Games. You know, I wait for the game to officially begin when you say that. I don't wave my own flag. Man. Okay. No, I, there's a steal. <laughs> Number four, Chris Clack underneath the Derek Hood off the glass and no good. Garnett with a rebound. That's no good. Oki with a rebound for the East squad off of Garnett's foot. Finally, the bounce passes through the Marbury. Right side, Abdur Rahim is good. Nice little pass to set it up. Marbury, talented, sees the floor, likes to give it up. The little kiss at the end. Ryan Robertson across the timeline into the corner for Albert White, number 44. Nearly stolen by Ron Mercer. Derek Hood out top of the key. Albert White, Inkster, Michigan. Nice how they're passing the ball. Burn. Usually in these games, the guards dominate. They're all jacking them up early. Marbury. Kicks it back to Ron Mercer. Got it. Ron Mercer undecided. And will he make somebody happy? A couple of schools involved. I think Miami, Tennessee, Kentucky. Not bad. Not at all. And he's playing for his coach today, Steve Smith, Ron Mercer, out of uh, Oak Hill Academy. West still hasn't scored. Here's Derek Hood. Finally gets them on the, uh, on the scoreboard. Derek Hood attacks the glass. An explosive performer going to Arkansas. Yeah, he'll have more than a small amount of interest in tomorrow night's game. Well, they have some depth. Add that to it, huh? That, uh, I believe, is called. <laughs> I'm not so sure now. <laughs> Kevin, with a message, Let rejection, me return to Chi Town. Hood calls for the ball. Albert White has it out. Now Garnett off the glass and good. Boy, that's it's amazing what he can do. That block shot at one thing, sprint the floor, get down, get in position, handle pass, and finish like that. Garnett, a 6'10 center out of the Farragut Academy in Chicago. That's off, uh, nope, picked off, and here at the other end, Chris Clack out of Austin. A splasher, and how about him staying at home? Now, Tom Penders moving into the Big 12. Mm -hmm. Has some local kids, and over the years, you used to work down there. Yes, uh, I did. You do bowling for Donald. Oh, Trump. you are, you are <laughs> terrible. <laughs> but a lot of kids never stayed in state. That was one of the problems. Yeah, it's been a problem for years. Chris Clack out of Anderson High School. Turnaround jumper from Oki is good. Sam Oki. He's going to be attending uh, the University of Wisconsin. Richard Griffith uh, is pretty happy about that. Huh? And in talking to him, uh, the quick hitter down low, he was concerned before Dick Bennett was hired. And now with Dick Bennett being there, he felt very comfortable. And that's a tough thing. It makes us wind up the coaches leave. And here's that little breakaway. And strong. Send it in. All Texas guys can jump, Vern. No, uh, no. What happened? All of them can't. Some watch. 25 in the shot clock. Carter. Rebound. Abdul Rahim. Oh, Garnett with a block. My goodness. <laughs> oh, brother. Well, put your number two pencils away. We got plenty of erasers. This is one of the main performers under the glass. Ryan Robertson, guarded by Stefan Marble. That's uh, going to be a turnover off the hand of Albert White. Game rules under which this. Uh, Encounters being played, two 20-minute halves, a 35-second shot clock, six personal fouls allowed, that's a change. Man-to-man uh, -man defense, no zone or zone pressing. They'll shoot one-on-one -on -one in the seventh. It's a little different than those eight-minute high school quarters. Yes. Ron Mercer gets another one. Well, they said he's got that deep game, and some people feel he just has to get a medium game. Low post, tough, deep one. Got to get that middle area. Mercer, who averaged 26 points per game at Oak Hill Academy. Here's Garnett and Chris Clack with another one. Clack, Clack! Off the feed from Garnett. By the way, the reason Chris Clack does not have his name, here's Marbury at the other end off the glass. The reason that he does not have his name on the back of his jersey is because his jersey was stolen last night. Oh, bring it! Steady attacks, huh? Here's Robertson. Here's Clack. Click. Clack. Oh, was Wood. That would have won the slam dunk, maybe. That Carter would have been a distant memory. 
He doesn't need a name on the back of his jersey. I think we know he's here. Well, the uniform is stolen, and my kids are all in jersey. <laughs> they can't lay it on them. <laughs> yes, but you're here. <laughs> 15 to go, first half. Back to Sam Oakey. Got it. Oh, from the corner, Mercer for another three. That's three threes. I guess they better get out on him, Byrne. What do you think? Get up on that guy. Under the 15-minute mark, Ryan Robertson. Back to Albert White off the glass. Oki chases it down to the four. To Mercer. Too strong. The put back, no. And the rebound, Derek Hood. Robertson. Pretty good defensive play by Carter, huh? Good reaction. They're out and running. Four substitutions getting ready to come on the floor. Time has been called. Television timeout. We're back at the Keel Center, St. Louis, Missouri. The East up by five, and uh, a number of luminaries have gathered here in the crowd of 15,000. From left to right, Morgan Luton, longtime coach at DeMatha High School. Coach John Wooden in the center, whose team plays for a national title tomorrow night. And Sonny Hill out of Philadelphia on the right. Uh, you know, in that group, there's about 1,500 wins, and I went over and joined them. It's the only way I can get into the Hall of Fame. And uh, I boosted it up to 1550. See, I don't even need to set you up. You use your... <laughs> uh, Sonny, of course, runs the league down in Philly. Helps so many kids in that town. Does Temple basketball and the other two. Forget it. I mean, reputation and what they, the products they put out in this country. A credit to this wonderful game. Coach Wooden, by the way, will be joining us at halftime. And what a pro pleasure that will be. Jackson. Randell Jackson, number 23, will get you up to date on the uh, fresh faces on the floor. And at the other end, number 35, this is Jelani McCoy. He's bound for UCLA. Not too bad, huh? Out of San Diego, California. Number 12, Shaman Wells. And the basket is good. B.J. Mackey, number three. It's spelled M-C-K-I-E. He pronounces it Mackey. And it's Paul Pierce who's on the floor instead of McCoy. They're both out there. Well, this is interesting. Well, the 235s, because one was stolen, and they had two for McCoy. So uh, there's a guy that fills up a screen now. He is much like a trailer truck. Quick, talented, and is going to be a terrific college basketball player. Danny Trailer, undecided. I saw him at the ABCD camp, Vern, which invites the best. And he played Tim Thomas, who's a junior that we'll all be hearing about next year, and played him even. This is a great talent, and it's deceptive the weight, and yet I do think they said he lost somewhere around 29, 30 pounds. Uh, didn't have lunch that day, maybe. <laughs> but uh, is extremely talented. Can't get the ball to go down, and here comes the East running. Quick touch pass back out for the jumper, and the jumper is no good. Taken by Lewis Bullock, number 11, at the other end. Here's Jelani McCoy. Heyman, Domzowski, and Mackey gets the putback. Uh, Mike Krzyzewski has something to say about that, right? Going strong to the goal, didn't finish. Domzowski, who's headed for Duke out of New Mexico. And he's got trailer shirt on, so it's a good thing we were in here a day early. We'd be in trouble. He's got 54 and trailer's name as well. So on the floor right now for the Whites, we've got two 54s and two 35s. And again, the reason is that uh, someone wanted souvenirs last night. This is Taman Domzowski. And if, if Mackey got one of those numbers, they'd have a full house, huh? Mackey's the only guy with his own number. That's right. In white. Back it is in the hands of Shimon Wells. He's going to Providence next year. Jamison. Antoine Jamison, number 44. Randell Jackson gets uh, full benefit of the rim. That's the one thing that impressed me in the work that they all play above that rim. I mean, good, explosive jumpers. They can handle the basketball, too. Well, they're McDonald All American, so obviously they've got a total game. Trailer. McCoy. The real. <laughs> Was that bad? Spin in it, reversing and jamming. Wells. Oh my goodness! Greatest handle since the Messiah. You did use it. <laughs> you did use it. I didn't think you would use it, but you did. Well, he can really deliver, and so can Mackey. 
Not quite this time. At the other end, here's Shimon Wells. Oh, oh, oh. And they didn't get the basket. Oh. I mentioned Trailer's ability as a basketball player, but right here, the pivot to the middle, never lost vision, the good delivery. And here, the three-quarter turnaround, send it in by McCoy. Well, maybe the greatest handball since Samsonite. You used them both. <laughs> uh, he is a pleasure to watch. <laughs> now, there's point guards, lead guards, one guards, two guards, shooting guards, off guards, and of course, there's sham god, Wells. Out of LaSalle Academy in New York City, and he's found, this is Randall Jackson. Now we were talking with Howard Garfinkel, who knows a little bit about uh, young talent. He said this kid can handle the ball as well as anybody he's ever seen. And right there, nice pass again by Mackey, and the big fella trying to finish trailer. Yeah, Howard has a line on all of these kids, and uh, occasionally uh, I'm prone to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bullock taps it, loose ball. Jameson off the mark in the hands of B.J. Mackey, number three. Mackey takes it off. Oh, 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 are you kidding me? What a great setup. South Carolina bound. Irmo, South Carolina, B.J. Mackey. He plays hard, strong, and look at those dishes. Wayne Turner, number five, gets the jumper. He's from Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts, at a Beaver Country Day and going to Kentucky. Oh, and he, they were delighted down there. A shooting guard who can play point. McCoy misfires trying to get it to trailer. Here's Wayne Turner again, number five. <laughs> oh, these guys are putting on a passing play. They, they no look, uh, I mean, they make it look easy. You know, when you and I were in high school, because like we were there about the same time. That was a few years ago. It didn't look this way, did it? Your knickers look good today. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't. Uh, they, they've just been to so many clinics, played all over the world, have had the greatest coaching with their high school coach and the summer. I think it's neat that I live long enough to see black sneakers come back in style. If you watched yesterday's semifinals from Seattle, you saw 10 young men who played in this McDonald's All-Star game. Darnell Robinson from Arkansas and uh, Corliss Williamson and, of course, Ed and Charles O'Bannon from UCLA. You're going back out there, Bill, and watch uh, five of them play for the championship uh, Monday night. Great time of year, and uh, th these players someday will keep the program going. Coach happy, alumni happy. Chauncey Billups, we were told he wasn't going to play today. Number four, he's got a shoulder injury. Oh, wait a minute. Not, that's Chris Clack, isn't it? And the, and the... Yeah, he came over and told both of us he wasn't going to be a right player. Injured it during the year. And Steve Smith, and the reason he's on the picture other than being the coach is he had Jerry Stackhouse and Jeff McGinnis at Oak Hill. So uh, there's a reason that he wins a lot. And these guys become such good players because he teaches so well. Here's Bullock, number 11. Expected to be a point guard up in Michigan. And that's a tough adjustment to when you've got a scoring guard, although he can handle and does find people. Oh, what a pass. And another pass. Zalski out of Roswell, New Mexico, New Mexico Military Institute. Here's Wayne Turner. Kevin Garnett gets the rebound, number 21. Right side it goes to B.J. Mackey. A little, oh, a half leader. You give him a 10, he goes 9-8. You've been on that skating circuit, and maybe the Eastern Bloc won't give him that last. That's right, it was the Polish judge. <laughs> I did a figure skating event here, as a matter of fact, back in October. Here's Bullock at the other end, no. And Dom Zalski gets the rebound. Look, look at these two looks now. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh a kiss. Almost for the send it in. Pretty. This is truly an all-star game. <laughs> Isn't this fun? 31-28, the score is absolutely incidental. You don't see this in most neighborhoods, I'll tell you. You may see one or two guys doing it, but 
the little extra pass, and this is the earliest jam. Oh, great feel. Up about 12, and the freeze down the climax. B.J. Mackey's going to get a rest. Ryan Robertson comes back in. Domzowski is also out, so the West leading the McDucks. And no cholesterol in those either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, they are having a nice look here by a guy who's going to be a terrific player at Kansas. Robertson, the first couple of years, will just give Jock Ball the ball, and then he'll be taking over. Stephon Marbury, number three, guarded by Robertson. Here's Shimon Wells. A couple of pretty good guards in the backcourt now. Sam Oki out of Cassville, Wisconsin. I would like to pick up Oki's sandwich with those hands. I mean, he would nail you. A big, tough guy. Can you go to the goal strong? Had some good workouts here. Of course, everybody's looked pretty good. Uh, defense is something that occasionally is around the yard. Yes. <laughs> they would prefer looking good on offense. Sam God Wells gets it inbound. Marbury, Oki. That's for three. Sham guard. Solid. What a backcourt there. What do you think of it? Marbury. Ryan Robertson. That's a well, they're gonna call the foul. Well, the officials aren't getting paid by the foul. No. No. They let them play, and it, it is a little bit loose, but as we noticed, these are three of the premier guys in the country. Ryan Robertson, who played high school ball at St. Charles West High School in St. Charles, Missouri. A three-time All-St. Louis Metro player. I think his dad was an assistant on there for a while. <laughs> With him, I met him the other day. Tom Kinchowski, who writes a report on the kids throughout the country, uh, filled me in on a lot of these performers, and the insights that Tom has are beyond the floor. Mm -hmm. So you really feel uh, that there's the depth of the players and what they're capable of as human beings, too. Wipe out the last one. Marbury and Wells in the backcourt. Oki, Ron Mercer, and Sharif Abdur Rahim. He's in the low post, gets the ball. Guarded by Garnett. Pretty good. A real nice, he still was. He's had some good runs as well. Raheem solid guy going to Cal. At the other end, Raheem. Oh, Albert White tries to go behind the back. Here's Oki. Hold on. Stephon Marbury. And Bobby Kermans will be smiling. Stefan in the open floor. Magic. Marbury, who will follow Kenny Anderson, Travis Best down at Georgia Tech. Here's Garnett. Over Abdul Rahim. <laughs> he can go outside, too, huh? And he really has a total game, and he got, he's a little shattered on that on the floor. Letting everybody know that he can knock him down. Sharif smiling as he went back. A little too much pizzazz in some place, too, though, right? A little extra gravy. The score. Dead ball. Time has been called. We are in St. Louis, the McDonald's All-Star Game. For a moment, let's take you back to 1991, the McDonald's All-Star Game played in Springfield, Massachusetts. And a guy named Glenn Robinson had a pretty <laughs> decent afternoon. Oh, uh, big dog was top dog. Oh, yeah. just think he sat out that next year at Purdue, and the rest is history. See those names there? Weber along with him. Chris Weber had 28 in that game. Robinson had. Here's Sam Oakey at him. Major Metropolis, Cassville, Wisconsin. Population 1,140. Located near Dubuque, Iowa. Sam headed for Wisconsin. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. Sham God Wells, number 12. Looks for Marbury. Ryan Robertson guards him. Marbury. Back to Oh, what a block by Garnett. Robertson. He finds Derek Hood, number 55. Hood loses it. At the other end, here comes Oki. Beauty. And at the other end, whoops. Oki with a little late dish. I thought he had him in the back court. And let's hope, help, hope everybody is fine. I mean, they're starting to bang. 
Nothing easy, and this is a terrific pass selection, huh? And you think he got an easy one. I think that's what impresses the players the most. They're usually going against one guy. All of a sudden, there's two and three that can elevate and reject. Sam Oki gets a rest, and Ron Mercer goes to the line. I might even win a few games in this town. Think so? Yeah, I don't, well, don't want to go out on the limb too much. But ah, I put my money on you. The, the, the reaction that they have to their coaches was so favorable, too. Willing to be taught. And that's what makes them extraordinary, I think. Alley up. Huh. Come back. Get White started the game a little jumper. Oh. There it could to Albert White. It's 38 36. Here's Stefan Marbury. Was that pass high enough? <laughs> How about the block from Ryan Robertson? Here's Louis Vince Carter. Out of Daytona Beach, Florida. Headed for North Carolina. Steal by Marbury. Unbelievable. He's, he's what they call a dictatorial defender. Comes up with a great hands, dominates the offense, basically. At the other end, off the front iron. Randell Jackson, number 23. White goes for the steal, doesn't get it. Marbury. Look at that move. Oh, Kern. Look at that pass. <laughs> Ball misfired. Here comes. Oh, no, they don't. There's Robertson with the quick hands. Two nice plays. You bet. Left side. Hood underneath the Garnett. He wasn't ready for it. Sometimes it doesn't matter. Well, Derek can play in my hood any time. <laughs> oh, does he get to the glass? 5.34 to go. First half of play. Marbury left side for Mercer. Ooh, the Hawk. Connie, we're reminiscing of Mercer. Yes. At the other end. Does anybody just make a shot? It's not there. He's going to the 10. A 40-minute highlight film here. 5 10 to go first half. Uh, Stefan Marbury going to Georgia Tech, as we mentioned, uh, recruiting the uh, Dirk Holman trying to talk him into going to Syracuse, and Kenny Anderson trying to talk him into going into Georgia Tech. And obviously, the winner was Bobby Krebs. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Oh, oh. This is unbelievable. <laughs> click, click. Huh. That is amazing. Seniors? Yeah. There's something they high school. School. This is uh, <laughs> unbelievable. Marbury. Jackson. A catch. How do they stance the basket ball and then finish? I don't think anybody's checking out it today. Not at all. Here's Clack. Derek Good. Nope. Garnett. Oh, look at that play. Beautiful. <laughs> Rebound, Randell Jackson, number 23, and a foul. No, he traveled. Watch the uh, pass to Albert White. Well, I mentioned he made the jump right now. Watch how high this is. This is higher than they threw at the Grand Hill. Look at that. I would say that's 13 feet. Now, I mentioned Connie Hawkins, Roy Hamilton, who's an All-American of a zone at UCLA. He said it reminds him of the dock, and I can't argue with him. Julius serving. Ball to be inbounded with 4.15 to go first half. All these guys have shortening in their game, huh? Oh. All high risers. See, I've got to get used to working with you. <laughs> it's incredible, the hops in their game. Wouldn't you say? Yes. Now, you do the NBA games yes. on Thursday, and you will see some of these players. The natural ability now has to get into the fundamentals, the educational process of learning how to play with others. I mean, this is fun, but you're not going to get away with that in college. Right. These are going to be defended and prepared for. So the, the guys that step forward are the ones that are going to pay attention, and they're going to make kiss foul shots like that and get some breaks. Eight ball in the corner pocket, 45-45. Four clock is stopped. That's yeah, cool. I saw this last night. Yeah. I brought it east with me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Those red eyes will stop a clock every time, won't they? <laughs> At the other end, here's Mackie. <laughs> oh, no! There, get the towel out. Have a little yoke on the brow. Sharif Abdul Rahim goes to the basket. He's going to Cal next year. He'll shoot free throws right now. He is the. He, it's not easy. They're not as big. 
as the opponent, and he's been going hard and strong. Great looking prospect. Coming up later, the women's basketball championship game. University of Connecticut undefeated so far. Takes on Tennessee. That's a rematch of a game played oh, two months ago. I happened to watch that game from a hotel room. I had three games that day. <laughs> <laughs> and that was an exciting packed house up in stores. In three different cities, no doubt. <laughs> oh, it's amazing how fast the year does go. College. Sometimes. Oh. Well, if you're coaching, it was long for me, anyhow. But here we are, all two left. It's just so standing. You've got a Tennessee this afternoon, and of course, Arkansas and UCLA tomorrow night, all here on CBS. We'll be back right after this. Three forty-nine to go, first half. East leading to forty-seven forty-five. Coming up at the half. We'll have a women's championship preview, a baseball update, and a visit with legendary coach John Wooden here at halftime at the Keel Center. There's one young man who will not play today. He's a young man from my home state, out of Denver, Colorado, a two-time All-State player, Chauncey Billups. He will attend the University of Colorado next year. He's had a shoulder injury that uh, caused him to miss this game, but he wanted to be a part of the mm -hmm. festivities, so he came on in and uh, is a McDonald's. And like you, a hero in his in his state. A power guard does a little of everything. Threes, handle, real solid guy going to help that program. That'll be the uh, east inbound. 3.37 to go before halftime. And this is not McCoy, <laughs> although it says it. It is McCoy. We've got two McCoys on the floor again. One is Paul Pierce. That's Pierce with the ball. McCoy down on the box. 35 to 35. Underneath the 54, who is not trailer. This, <laughs> it is a little bit confusing, but they know who they are anyhow. And that time, a little organization trying to get it into the post. 3.24 remaining before the half. Wayne Turner. Underneath, stolen by the West. At the other end, this is Pierce. Got it. Big, strong, tough guy. Wayne Turner at the three-minute mark. Those programs still keep cropping up. Pierce going to Kansas, huh? That's why those guys are pretty good. Antoine Jamison, who's bound for North Carolina out of Charlotte. He's staying home. And that's why they're pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Nice little close stop by McCoy. And then McCoy, who is not McCoy, gets the rebound. Boy, this is confusing. <laughs> well, some household's going to have a lot of numbers yeah. around. And some little guy's going to get in trouble when Danny gets home. 2.30 to go before halftime. Lewis Bullock, number 11. He's headed for Michigan in Steve Fisher's program. And Randell Jackson knocks one down. Show a little bit of range. By the way, uh, somebody who had the ear-piercing concession in St. Louis is probably bound for vacation. That's it. He's the Caribbean, right? Yeah. You see the tape on the kids' ears? They got their ears pierced yesterday. The ears look terrific. Don't they know? I mean, I'm going to go for hoops. Hoop earrings. How about that little spin out and go to the goal? Yeah. By McCoy. The runner from Turner, 53-52. Well, this hasn't been bad, has it? No, it's really uh, pleasant. And a quick chuck and duck now, though, huh? Nobody got to get up and play a little D. Paul Pierce, he's headed to Kansas, too, from Inglewood, California. And UCLA coveted this guy. They were really after him. Uh, good shot discipline. Hello. Good night, huh? Play going to Purdue. For the main Central Institute and a guy. Max Good, who they say really works the kids. They learn how to play. They learn, they learn a lot about life as well. So as Pete Katie at the Final Four as Domzowski finishes, and he was delighted to hear how well he was playing down here. Thinks he's got a, a performer that's going to help them. Big 10 coach hands, huh? Ah, yes. Jameson, that's off his hand. Yeah, we got two McCoys out here. One of them's the real McCoy. Well down on the box, a nice little power move, and, and you can see the defense uh, play. Well, the play for Gene Cady, he'll have to learn how to contain a little bit, but he'll also get some help. 
Gene, one of the master <laughs> defensive. <laughs> the real has nine and the other has six. <laughs> oh, dear. 59-55. <laughs> We're going for the stratosphere. Jameson. Oh. And then, uh, if you get hit like that, you'll start drinking some Jameson. Big, hard jam. Yeah, I mean, they, they, when they do try and dunk, that's when they play hard defense. Step the pressure up a little further out the floor. Antoine Jameson is going to the line. Sharif Abdul Rahim is back on the floor down at the 33. He replaces Randell Jackson. And Antoine Jameson is at the line. Supposedly a very hard worker. Terrific rebounder on the offensive glass. And they say the best senior out of the state of North Carolina. Unfortunate last night in a way that uh, Stackhouse got hurt early. Came back strong second half against a team that's going to be tough to deal with. Oh, uh, Arkansas, they are deep. Here's Paul Pierce, number 35. Pierce gets it. Final 25 seconds. That, think of that motion offense for Pierce. He's going to get some looks and develop a little depth for Roy Williams. Wayne Turner picked off by Robert Trailer. And the other end, here's B.J. Mackey. Got it. Mm. Eddie Fogler's guy intends and plays hard. Raheem misses at the buzzer. And that is the end of the first half from the Keogh Center. Andrea Joyce coming up with at the half after this message and a word from your local station. CBS Sports presents the McDonald's All-American High School Basketball Game, sponsored by McDonald's. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. Goodyear, number one in tires. And by Selson Blue, doctors recommended number one for dandruff. Selson Blue. We're back at the Keel Center in downtown St. Louis, Missouri. An excellent crowd gathered here for the 18th annual McDonald's All-American game. At the half, the West, look at that, shooting 60% to 53. Uh, the dunks 12 to 3 <laughs> for the West. Uh, but most significantly, this has been extraordinarily entertaining. Uh, Vern, uh, Dick Starman, uh, the chief guy with McDonald's, this is his baby. He loves it, uh, and the reason he loves it is what we witnessed in that Ronald McDonald house, what they do with the kids. And these young fellows get right into it, and, and it benefits them in their growth. The basketball, obviously, it's going to take care of itself, but it's a great thing for corporate America to get involved with McDonald's house. East team turns it over to start the second half. Shem Godwells. And here comes Kevin Garnett, number 21. Well, why not let him handle the ball? Why not? <laughs> uh, he can play all over the floor. And that's the dilemma, too, believe it or not. I'm thinking of Sampson years ago. Ralph could play a few positions and really never became the dominant center. Shem Godwells. That he could have been. Of course, he broke in the league with Olajuwon. Yeah. That's a little tough. At the other end, Mackey. B.J. Mackey brings it all the way down. Now, and now how about the coach liking Stefan Marbury? Now, he's, got, he's always had great talent, an eye for great talent. I like the way he said he wasn't going to answer it and did. <laughs> <laughs> well, privilege, right? Ray? Yeah, you bet. And what great news that he is going to Seattle to watch UCLA and Arkansas. That's terrific. That's big time news. I mean, people will be delighted. I mean, the, the legend of the game going up to see his old university compete. He's very proud of what they've accomplished this year. Well, there may be some who don't realize why he was he hesitant to go. Here's the stuff by Garnett. Coach Wooden's wife died 10 years ago, and their last trip together was to the Final mm -hmm. Four in Seattle. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it holds great emotional memories for him, and that's why he wasn't sure he wanted to do that. I think it's wonderful for all of us to be there. Robert Trainer in the post. Oh. Well, they say you need a lot of quarters to get around him. 
He's not a toll road, but it takes you a while. But when he starts going to the goal with authority, he's awfully tough. And the counter at the other end by Marbury and then back. Here comes Shem Godwell. That's amazing. Look at that handle. You know what Howard Garfinkel said to us? The guy that comes to mind, and, and young people won't recognize this at all, but he said that Sham God Wells handles the ball as well as Marcus Hayes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that that is a name that evokes unbelievable memories. I, I don't remember Marcus. No, you don't. Charlie Neal not. was more my age. <laughs> not quite. That, that is high praise, though. And Howard has seen a lot of his five-star basketball camp. Coming up next, superstars of the slopes twist and shout when they compete in bumps and jumps and moguls and aerial showdown from Heavenly Valley, California. Tracy Wilson's going to be there, my colleague on figure skating, and Park Smalley has left Steamboat Springs, Colorado to go. It's awfully nice to see you working without a tuxedo. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to be working. Oh, and he, he does have some personality on the court, doesn't he? Yes, that indeed. dunk and the run back. Be curious to see what happens. Uh, he's undecided as to his college, and uh, as we've seen, there are a lot of pro teams interested in him. A lot of them are here checking his abilities out. I, for one, hope he opts to prep or, or go to college, whatever the situation is. And I don't know the academic is. You see some of the first guys. Billy McKinney, Billy McKinney the yeah. Rick Weitzman there. And, and just think of it, a high school game. <laughs> Trainer, misfires, the tip no good. And Billy Knight was there besides uh, Indiana assistant, great NBA performer. Well, the kids are coming out early, too. It's another thing. You get a backlog, you get a look at them. I'm not saying I admire them leaving early, and I don't know how good it is for them because it's so difficult in the NBA, as you've seen. Right. Here's Stephon Marbury, looking for the pick from Oki. Hmm. Wells, nope. Providence College with Pete Gillen, and boy, will he be an asset. Look at that deflection, and here, hold on now. Ooh. underneath for Oki and gets the pick and roll. Little contact, no foul call. Hood misfires. Here comes the East. Marbury. Oh, yes. And Abdul Rahim can't get it in. Well, we had Coach Wooden at halftime, and now pay close attention here. We have Coach Wooden with us now. You got to be good. Morgan Wooten, longtime coach at Samantha High School. Good to have you here. Great to be with you all. Thank you. Anybody? Let's see. We've got a... There we are. We got you up. Maintenance work. Now, you worked for years with James Brown. He should have taught you how to place that microphone. I know you taught him everything else down there at the Matha. I know you're very proud of him as well as many of your players. And uh, Adrian Dantley comes to mind as one of the great names. But how many kids have left your program and gone to Division I? Well, oh, well over 150, I'd say. That's incredible. Gee, well over 150. And we've had uh, over 12 of them going on to the pros with uh, guys like Dantley and Ferry probably being the top names. A Hall of Famer as well. I like to deal with legends. <laughs> Coach Wooden, Coach Wooden, Vern Wood. Oh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> but, but have you seen a change with players and personalities as the years have progressed? Well, I think the, the big thing, though, is that there's more good players than ever before. And they're a little bigger, they're a little stronger, they can run faster, they can jump higher. Uh, Unfortunately, you do have a few maybe that are a little harder to work with. Mm -hmm. But by and large, kids are just as good as ever. There's more good players than ever before. I have a feeling you convinced them, though, to sort of do it your way. Well, I think coaching is teaching and salesmanship. And uh, if you're going to do well, you got to do it as a team. Yeah, but Vern and I were just chatting about McDonald's and what they do for the youngsters in America. Some kids who have some health problems as well as uh, their corporate contributions. 
your, your take on this atmosphere and what it does for the players. We're going to let Norman talk about that. There's no question about it. Something they'll never forget. We'll be right back. Back in St. Louis, but let's take a look back in Atlanta, 1992, the McDonald's game. The West beat the East 185. But Bella Harrington had 19 points. But Jason Kidd, who just scored there, missed only one shot, set everyone else up as the West won easily. Kidd. Whatever happened to The him? rest is history, as they say. Dallas? Yeah. With a pretty good career at Cal. Berkeley. 70, 66, 15, 37 remaining here. We have been joined by Morgan Wooten, the longtime head coach at DeMatha in the Washington, D.C. area. And we are just sitting back and enjoying all of this. I got a chance to chat while we were at commercial about his family, four grandchildren, and the youngest son, a coach. Coach, you taught him better than that. Well, I tell you, he really loves the game, and he's uh, working on a joke at Tapio down at Furman University, and he's really enjoyed his first year as a college coach, and only 22 years old, so uh, he got started pretty young. And, and you know, another thought, Vern, there are tons of guys, you may have the number, that started with you and are now head coaches throughout the country. Right, yeah, right now we have eight Division I head coaches at the college level who started coaching with me at the math, and uh, it's a great pleasure to see them go and do so well. Oh, I'm sure. That, that, do a lot of them do some things that you taught them? I can still see that uh, they have examples of having worked within the math program. It's a lot of fun to see that. And a lot of them, like uh, the Mike Braves at Duke, Wittenberg, Georgia Tech are top assistants, and they'll be moving up just in a matter of time. You know, Vern, when I was in high school, I remember a big game, Power Memorial at the Mathis. Right. I was a little older than high school, by the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell us how you prepared for Lou Alcindor. Well, of course, it's seven foot three, which is what he was at the time. I mean, it was no one had ever heard of anything like that before. So we we had a kid six six, and we gave him a tennis racket, and we practiced all week shooting over the tennis racket. So uh, when the game started, we were not as intimidated as we might have been, and uh, actually pulled off the big upset. Isn't that that was one of the great stories of basketball? The ingenious the methods, right? Well, it worked for that, yeah. that's for sure. Uh, uh, Jack Dunham, who I believe was the coach up there at the time, a pal of yours, and then later in Canada with the Olympic program. But uh, the, the style of basketball that, that you've taught your players, uh, somewhat lacking here, I would say. Well, that's a bit particularly. There's a, a, a lot of one-on-one -on -one here and a lot of uh, trying so hard for the spectacular, which, as you can see, doesn't always work. Right? You know what's amazing? Though? The kids don't mind if it doesn't work. They just go do it again. Well, I, I don't comment I, I use a lot is I'll say, well, that's okay. It looked good, so don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> that one works. Weren't you a football coach as well? Yeah, we're 13 years as a head football coach at the back. Then what was your record there? We did very well. <laughs> <laughs> And what'd you do in your spare time, Morgan? Well, that's when we started our family. Uh, <laughs> you know, and, and a thrill uh, for me was to be at the Hall of Fame when you were inducted. You had all the family. That was a big day for you. They all came up to Springfield. It was a real, real honor. That's going to bring us through this little play. What do you think of that dish? Those are the guys that make the big guys look good. That's great pass. That was Chris Clack in the pass. And think of the tie his head. The uh, what he did in that game, he took over. Yes, it was a solid. You've always been blessed with a good point guard. I think that's where it all starts. I know John Wood and I were speaking the other night, and I said, you know, you coach two of the greatest big men that ever played the game in Walton and then Al Sender. What do you think is the most important position? And he says it starts with the point guard. Because hmm. no matter how good your big men are, if you can't get them the ball where they want it, if you can't handle the pressure, well, then you're dead. And the championship game on Monday night is going to be decided by UCLA's ability to crack Arkansas's press. How do you think they'll do? I think it's going to be a great game. And uh, if they can handle their pressure, their quickness, I think, might give them an edge. Well, you got it from the top, I'll say that. At the other end, here's Lewis Bullock. Uh, did you see Lewis in high school? He's down in your neighborhood. Oh, very definitely. I'll tell you an interesting story on Lewis real quick. They beat St. John's at Prospect Hall. Oh, take a look at this while you're, you're standing. This is that open floor opportunity. 
Bullock gets it up with a glass, and as you mentioned, they do play above the rim. Above the rim. <laughs> Go ahead, Morgan. But he hit a three-pointer at the end of the first quarter in a game they're supposed to lose, a three-pointer at the end of the half, a three-pointer to put it in overtime, and then overtime he scored all the points, and they pulled off the upset. He's oh, amazing. amazing. He's a great shooter. Incredible. Gone to Michigan. I'm sure uh, Gary Williams a little disappointed, huh? Everyone around Maryland thought he was going there, but... Uh, he thought Michigan was the place. And then Joe, Joe Gallagher was the guy you had a few laughs and chuckles. Didn't you two run the camp for years? Uh, Joe was terrific. He said, I've lost a few games, but I never lost a party. <laughs> <laughs> St. John's. Oh. Uh, he gave me my start. He's a real legend. That's, uh, who's on your staff now? Well, right now I have a couple guys, or one guy that played for me, Pat Smith, who captain Harvard, mm -hmm. is now one of my assistants. And uh, Tracy Bergan's helping out on the JV level. Tracy from Loyola. From Loyola. The, oh, the great run into the NCAA. Yeah, he played for me, and he's the only one in his family that's not a deaf mute. Uh, isn't that uh, It's just a fantastic story. Incredible. We, we, I did the Max Championship that year, and, and we heard that story from him. And he, he voiced it on air. And that game that night, if you'll recall, he was absolutely phenomenal in the MAC championship. And uh, I, I thought I heard him when he got into coaching. And if he picks something up, I think with his drive, he's going to be an extraordinary leader. I think he could be a great coach. I really do. Great teacher of the game. Back on the floor right now, the West. Underneath there is Abdul Rahim. What would your recommendation be with Trailer, Danny? A big kid, very talented. Uh, would, would, do you think he can play at that size? No, I would say it would put our back with Teller. He's got to lose weight. Mm -hmm. And if he loses weight, he could really be a force in there. He'll change into the floor better. He won't get tired as quickly. He'll be a far more effective basketball player, but he has a wonderful talent. Like that great pass he threw right there. I mean, that's that's big time pass. Yeah, yeah he does have a feel, and, and Sharif with a nice move because his weight took him out of the play, that drop step to the goal. Uh, but uh, he, he's a, a, a guy that can uh, take up some area. I think it'll be tough to defend trailer as well. No question. He uh, could be like a, a little Carlos Williamson right now if there's mm -hmm. such a thing. Mm -hmm. But he, he does have that great position, and it's very hard to get around him. Pretty good screen right there. <laughs> Mackey. <laughs> I mentioned before, it might take a half hour to get out on the shooter, right? <laughs> With him. Take a while, I'll tell you. Here's Wayne Turner, number five for the uh, East squad. Morgan, I know, I'm sorry, Vern. Go ahead, Bill. I, I was just, my thought just occurred to me, all the offers over the years uh, never tempted to leave the high school ranks, huh? Well, I got tempted two times, I would say, in the ACC, but uh, when I really thought it over, I was happy in high school, happy in what I was doing, was getting a chance to watch my family grew up, so why leave happiness? Mm -hmm. A content individual, which is terrific. Bullock. <laughs> this is basketball, isn't it? I'll tell you, Eddie Fogler is getting a great one in, in Mackey. There's no question about it. Very intense individual and, and supposedly a great defender. We may not see much today, but that was a sensational save. Not bad either. Dean Smith's getting a pretty good one in Carter. And this is the reaction that you enjoyed. That timing is just terrific on a play like that. Do you see layups anymore? What's that? Do, do, do you see layups anymore? Nobody gets them up on the glass. They don't get them up high enough. Not in a game like this. They're all looking for the dunks. Trailer blocked by Abdul Rahim. Albert White, number 44. Here comes the East at the other end. Bullock guarded by Robertson. Blocked by Robertson. Very unselfish. McKee fouled by Bullock. And B.J. Lon Mackey, not McKee. B.J. Mackey will go to the line. We just heard great news earlier. Uh, John Wooden told Vern and myself that he's going up to Seattle. Yes. Did he, did he tell you on the sideline over there? He uh, told me last night he was going to go. And uh, I don't know if he told you a story last night. We are watching the game, and he put on a UCLA hat with about two minutes to go, and UCLA scored 11 straight points. <laughs> That's terrific. <laughs> so he says he says he's taking the hat to Seattle with him. And he says Coach Harry may have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> the hat or the trip? Both, maybe. <laughs> now we have another gentleman in the arena. Roy Hamilton was a great player. He's our producer, by the way. He's the one giving us all those instructions. Oh, okay. Great card at UCLA. So uh, 
a lot of happy folk here. We've got a very busy truck. We've got our producer, Roy Hamilton, and our scout, Mike Arnold, down there. <laughs> well, it's been a fun second half with John Wooden and Morgan Wooten, a legend in college, a legend in high school. Morgan, thank you. Thank you. Coming up tomorrow night on CBS, plays like this, perhaps, Tyus Edney. Plays like this, perhaps, how important was that three-pointer? <laughs> Arkansas against UCLA. Coverage begins at 8 o'clock. We'll tip it at 8.40. And how nice to hear that John Wooden will be among uh, the attendants. I, I, everybody was asking that question, hoping that he was coming. And it, it, it's uh, going to be a thrill for everyone to see him up there. So big and what an impact on the game. No look pass underneath. Here's Turner. And a quick outlet from Trailer to Garnett. Mackey. Oh, oh, oh. He is really terrific. With the sleight of hand, Garnett, the open floor burn. Derek Hood is fouled. Kevin Garnett, Farragut Academy in Chicago. Well, we've seen uh, a glimpse today of why everyone is excited watching him play. Uh, he's got the tools. Uh, the maturation process now is, is the important aspect for him as he physically grows and understands what he can do. Running the floor is another aspect of his game. I was telling Billy Packer, uh, I believe he's going to play. Uh, Billy had asked him to come up to the U.S. Not, not that Billy invites him, but he was invited, and Billy's involved in the game. Uh, to come and he hadn't heard until today and he said I've been wondering I never heard anything and everybody's asking me about you know playing on the U.S. Junior Olympic team so uh, Phil Packer will feel good about it but that's in May and I believe it is on CBS as well Mackey oh my God. a little too strong with a layup here's a three on one Abdur Rahim oh wow hard foul by Trailer. Oh, oh, oh. Sharif has not had Easy opportunities, a lot of size, and occasionally a little beef to contend with. Abdul Rahim is going to go to the line. How about, look at it. How about the size of the guy that just delivered that pass? I mean, that's a 6'10", 6'11", guy who has a terrific feel for the game and very unselfish. With his smile and personality, uh, Mayor Daly ought to be concerned in a few years. Chicago, <laughs> engaging individual. Abdul Rahim gets the first out of Marietta, Georgia. Going west, California. Let's get you up to date on who's on the floor right now for the West Squad. With the ball right now, here's B.J. Mackey. He's going to South Carolina. Derek Hood, number 55. Entry pass knocked away. Kevin Garnett from Chicago. Ryan Robertson, number 11 from St. Charles, Missouri. The ball is stolen. Abdul Rahim. Bullock backs up, takes the shot. In and out. Now, Rahim, as you mentioned, he's, he's really a elegant player, isn't he? Oh, speaking of elegance. Yes. Garnett. Mm, resounding. Send it in. <laughs> oh. Turner. Tries to find Abdul Rahim. Antoine Jamison, number 44. Oh. Oh. Oh, peace. That was Domzowski with the defensive job. Damon Domzowski, who was wearing the number of 54 trailer. Again, if you weren't with us in the first half, there were three jerseys stolen last night, so we have duplicate numbers for three of the young men from the West. They'll be on the ski slopes in Steamboat. <laughs> I'll see them next week, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I, hope, I hope it fits Nance. Oh, well, you know, a fellow's got to, doesn't have a clothing contract, you know what you got to do. Uh, just even there, the rebound and the kick out as Mackey ends up with the turnover. Turner. Ah, what a beautiful, oh, oh, oh. what a freeze, huh? Oh, great fake. Ew. Close the door, the light's on in the fridge. Beaver Country Day, Chestnut Hill, Pennsylvania. Wayne Turner going to Kentucky. Randell Jackson, number 23. Jackson and Turner, Abdul Rahim, Lewis Bullock. Antoine Jameson. And a little nickel dimer. Just checking to see if the P's in the whistle, Eddie Hightower. Well, the offense has been unselfish, I must say. 
Defensively, I think the guys forgot about teeing it up and getting the stance. You see the strong finishes that will run the floor. The big people elevate, sprint. They're almost like guards were years ago. Maybe it's understandable that these kids are going to Oklahoma State. <laughs> but they are a deceptive running team, I must yeah. say that. What he does well is half court, use the clock so they get a good one, and make you use time. Now let's sneak out and get a few breaks on occasion. Eddie Sutton is the man of whom we're talking, of course, Oklahoma State with a, a wonderful run this year, losing yesterday to UCLA, and known for their defensive effort. Garnett with the basket. Marbury's back to the floor. Number three, Sham Godwell's number 12. Mackey with the block. Lamzowski, Hood, and Paul Pierce. Always in control, Pierce, isn't he? Headed for Kansas. Roy Williams, what a run he has had. Yes. He's sensational. Marbury. Well, the attendance for today, 16,201. That is a new attendance record for the McDonald's All-American game. 1982. Here's Garnett. Three-pointer. Anything else? 94-81. He has shown you all aspects of his game. Marbury off the mark. Saved by, oh, now stolen by Garnett. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> and Sam Godwells gets caught for the foul. Uh, Sam, Sam got smart enough to know he wasn't going to get embarrassed in the open floor. Oh, now look at that little same hand crossover and able to shake the tear off jersey and continue. He Chris, is terrific. Huh? Oh, wow. Chris Clack comes back on wearing the uniform number and name of Chauncey Billups, who is not playing today. Again, a reminder that the young man out of Denver had a shoulder injury. He's unable to participate in the game. There's Clack. He's going to the University of Texas, and just watching him is making Tom Pender's day. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Tom out at the convention, as most of the Division I coaches are. Another terrific year down there. Big step up for that program now next year. A lot of competitors in that Big 12. Yeah. Abdul Rahim and Domzowski. And he forces the travel. We've got 7.34 remaining. We'll return to the Keel Center after this message. And a word from your local station. Sports presents the McDonald's All-American High School Basketball Game, sponsored by McDonald's. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. Canon cameras, so advanced, they're simple. And by Speed Stick by Menon. Like you, it never quits. And who knows, those youngsters may wind up with the McDonald's All-American Game someday. 94-81, Bert Lundquist, Bill Raftery here at the Keel Center in St. Louis, 7.33 remaining. And on the floor, Chris Clack. Jelani McCoy, the real McCoy, is back on the floor now, number 35. Derek Hood. Well, the uh, the other McCoy is also out there, Paul Pierce. It is confusing. Oh. And Domzowski. And that was a tough entry pass. And you think of Oki on the opposing team up front, a guy that's in the edge. It's amazing. He can attack, and that's his game. And, and right there, when you say Wisconsin, you've said it all. Oh, oh, oh. The whole town emptied out. <laughs> he said there were 150 people down here from Cassville, Wisconsin, which is one-tenth of the population of the town. Well, they don't have many shirts left in that town. There's the rest of them. And he was mentioning the terrible flood of last year how it impacted they were on the mississippi up in that area and how tough it was on all the families i remember seeing the, the cnn news with all the difficulties right and, oh, hardship they are saying that sam Oki might be the best player to ever come out of wisconsin Whew. 
Now, Pat Richter was pretty good. Played football and basketball. Right. The AD. And he made a good decision. And so was that. And smooth Pierce finishes. 97-84. Here's Marbury. Stephon Marbury back to Sham Godwells. Ron Mercer, number 32. The jumper. Sham Godwells misfires. And that'll be... The West Ball inbound. Substitution now. Albert White coming back on the floor, replacing Derek Hood. And substitution Lewis Bullock, who has been scoreless, held scoreless in the game, is uh, back on the floor, replacing Sham Godwells. Here's Bullock. Oh, you got to get him in the lineup, huh? In the scoreboard. Crack. Anderson High School in Austin. Texas. Albert White, nice shot. Six and a half remaining in the game. Well, the ability to get into that area, not too bad. Have a little slide by and touch, a little dilly roll at the end. Albert White, who is bound for Michigan. Neat these kids have collected autographs and their shoes and their jerseys that they're wearing them out there, right? A heck of a memento 25 years from now. 100 to 84. And Albert White, you mentioned uh, he can score, knows how to use his body. And at the ABCD camp, Tom Kinchaski was telling me he started slow and by the end of the week was really solid. We got Bullock off. All right. Lewis Bullock with the three. He'll be knocking him down. For Steve Fisher. He's going to Michigan as well. Now Chris Clack will inbound. Albert White, Jelani McCoy, Paul Pierce, and Taman Domzowski on the floor. Ah. <laughs> he really is smooth with a body. Wow. Of a linebacker. Wow. 102-87. Marbury. Oh. Oh. And look at the handle. Will Roy Williams, he may be able to play golf this summer, Roy. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly down at the other end, Abdur Rahim. And that just shows you about Stephon Marbury. He can count. The great ones know where all nine others are. 102 89, five and a half remaining. 16,000 plus here. Jelani McCoy underneath, gets it back, puts it in. Three-time All-Stater who will be going to UCLA, the young man from San Diego. Carter. And Domzowski. Well, we, we began the afternoon with uh, statements from some of those who played here. Michael Jordan, the all-time scoring leader with 30. His relationship with McDonald's, although not as financially rewarding in those days, has been as favorable. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at those names. Uh, household words in basketball, or names in basketball. Foul. Foul. He is solid. I mean, he hasn't had a chance. Three, four people on him as he tries to make a move. Raheem, very smooth, good baseline player, but the composure, uh, the maturity, and he's not alone. Every time he's got up on the block, three and four of attack, that's very easy. They're not that tall, and, and people aren't cutting either, so he can find some help. Just fires on the first. Another substitution for the East squad. Wayne Turner from Chestnut Hill, Mass. On the floor, he replaces Stephon Marbury. Steve Smith, the head coach at uh, Oak Hill Academy. Had a chance to speak as you did to both coaches and honored and thrilled to be here. Uh, when you have guys that uh, can play like this, I mean, you get one or two maybe in your coaching career. And uh, I shouldn't say it about Oak Hill, though, should I? No. Well, they get a few. They've had a round. Uh, but as uh, one of the guys, Marbury, as Tomzowski, strong and with a little authority to the goal. Marbury went out with 10 assists. Not too bad. Bumps and jumps follow us. Sounds like uh, our trip to the airport. 
Sounds like both of us about a quarter to two in New York. Yeah, that's true, and we've been there. <laughs> Damon Domzowski, maybe the best player ever in New Mexico. I've got a trivia question for you here. He's from New Mexico Military Institute. Name the most famous athlete who ever played at New Mexico Military Institute. Knowing you, it's got to be a football player. That's true. Uh, that's true. Tom Brooks. No, 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 no. He's a Colorado guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this, this is a good one. Curry? No, no. Quarterback, though. See, I'll keep giving you hints here. Mm -hmm. Quarterback. Don Meredith. You're getting closer. You've got the city right. Sammy Baugh. No, you have the city right. Oh, oh. Dallas. <laughs> Sammy Baugh did not play for the Cowboys. <laughs> what? Raft, Roger Stubbuck. Oh, all right. I didn't realize he went there. The so nice yeah. trophy winner. I believe 63, wasn't it? Yes, indeed. <laughs> See, that's very good. Mm -hmm. I ignited that, that whole tour. The process. Yeah. Abdur Rahim. Hey, getting back to uh, Damon Domzowski, uh, a kind of a guy, 4-0 student, by the way. And going to do. And, and, and we'll get some special attention from Coach K, who looked terrific. I uh, got a chance to chat with him. He was on the set yesterday. That's great. And, and I can't wait to get back to my team. We all want him back. Mm, That's sure great. do. Great for the game. 4 4 remaining in this one. Allie, you? Oh. A couple of guys attacking that. Oh. <laughs> I can't watch Robert Trainer and not think that uh, he and Dimitri Hill are related. The uh, uh, meat hook. He might be the meat rack. Oh, there's the little look that started us getting excited. The slam dunk champ would have sent it in. And here he is. Uh, another look and a repeat. He will be terrific. It's unfair to mention Jordan about Stackhouse or him, but some of the signs and the giver. Trainer at the line. He got a standing ovation from his teammates in that slam dunk contest. He came out of the box early and they said, well, this, is, this one's over. Pack it in. Now he's got the hand up. He loves those. I'll look at some back screens at Chapel Hill and go to the goal. Robertson. Clack. Two more. Clack's in double figures. He's got 10. We've got 334 remaining in this game. Nice wing player down there for Texas. 21 that's dunks. McDunks. Wow. has been called 325 remaining in this one 109 97 another look back 1993 memphis tennessee the east beat the west 105 95 jerry stackhouse scored 27 points and won the slam dunk competition how do these young men wind up in this game well here's a uh, a couple of men who have some here are a couple of men. Howard Garfinkel on the left and Bob Gibbons on the right. They're on the committee to choose these guys. Yeah, Bob sees them all, too. He has a report. Howard used to have one. Tom Klinchowski now runs that. Howard has the five-star camp. They see the best and help vote on who's in attendance here. And they do a pretty darn good job. Boy, do they. Here's trailer. Nifty move. Now, that's quick, too. Isn't it? I mean, just nice little quick footsteps gets the puppies in motion abdur rahim in the paint fouled by garnett ron mercy is going to come back on the floor now number 32 and lewis bullock will get a rest and at the line abdur rahim player for Todd Bozeman. The Pac-10 is starting to keep kids and then go out and get some. Right. I mean, they were deep this year. Stanford had a wonderful year. Ooh. 
He throwed up for grabs around that defender, Marbury. <laughs> oh, we've seen him attack the ten, and now the touch with the smooch. Marbury, guarded by Robertson. Entry pass to Abdul Rahim, and the rebound, Garnett. A nifty little move again. Sure was. He does handle. Uh-oh. Look at him run the floor. So, oh, my God. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Oh, mercy, mercy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, punctuation. Mercy. <laughs> Mega Koopa. Uh-oh. If that doesn't all come down. Strut back by the dancing. There. My goodness. <laughs> the whole lot of this one. <laughs> the run, the give back, the finish. Oh, they are having a ball. And none of the college coaches will love it. They dunk on you, you're coming out of the game. Stop that guy when he attacks the 10. <laughs> Go back and watch Kevin Garnett at both ends of the floor. This is amazing. And after the dunk, this do the locomotion, do the locomotion. They said, hey, better get back. And that's part of the learning process. But what a tremendous effort after the, the little dine and dance underneath the basket. And we mentioned his personality. Uh, he's a, <laughs> oh, if I played like you, I wouldn't be embarrassed. How about you, Bert? <laughs> oh, that's terrific. <laughs> so himself on the big board. See how many things that nice look by McCoy. He's got good hands, passes well. Is he going to look nice in that throwing uniform? Barbary. Whoa! <laughs> 90 seconds to go. We may have had more O's and O's set a record this year, I think. I think so, too. Oh, just great basketball. And, and Stefan, who understands what he has to do, whether he drives by guys, that is a deep jumper on the toe line near the old NBA marker. And Paul Pierce at the line. Pierce has 22 points in this ball game. Leads the uh, he leads the McDonald's tournament in signatures. Yes, he does. I don't think he's missed anybody. Your name on there? See that that's the way I would get a tattoo, just like that. That'd be the extent of my expression. That's what it's all about. Now what I want to know is, is that McCoy's jersey or is that Pierce's jersey? It, it's now Pierce's. But he's gonna have a tough time explaining it. Yeah. <laughs> those kids who stole those jerseys just didn't realize no. the problems they caused down the road. Now, do you know that uh, they retired Reggie Lewis's number up in Boston and the flag was stolen? I saw that. And they found it in suburban Boston. Do you think uh, that youngster got a little spanking from daddy Some after supper? High school kid thought yeah. that was smart, yeah. He thought it was clever. Randell Jackson picks up the foul and the real McCoy goes to the line. Jelani McCoy got a chance to talk to a couple of the assistants up at uh, Seattle at UCLA, and uh, they really can't comment on, on, on players until they're there. But they're excited about his his performance. He, he's a talented kid, and I think will do some real good things. Get a little bit tougher might be one of the things from some of the scouting service. But good hands mentioned his ability to pass the basketball. Can use a little work at the free throw line. Well, 35 shot to free throw, 35 shoots at the basket, and goaltending is called. One fourteen left. Sham got Wells. That's from outside. From, that's from Dora. Yeah, it certainly is. Pierce picked off. And the score made by Randell Jackson. Winchenden, Massachusetts, foul, Carter. And he's had some good workouts, Jackson, too. I mean, the guy sometimes uh, 
when this game starts, don't get enough opportunity. The guards might dominate or the alley oop and over right. and forget what different individuals can contribute. BJ Mackey at the line from Irmo, South Carolina. Headed for the University of. That's a good sign. Eddie Kroger keeping great talent home and get that program going in a success story. Wichita State, Vandy, and it'll be it there. Does that lead? That's the people coming in now, right? Tuffy's yeah. coming in. Yes, indeed. Tuffy Smith of Georgia. And Mackey shoots one more. Well, Marbury and Wells are out. A week these kids never forget. Uh, as we open the show, we are able to put together a montage, I guess, of greats and their comments. And having run into them, as you do, uh, they never forgot it because it was seeing the best players they competed against all through college and then on to the NBA. 122-107. Here's Wayne Turner. Lewis Bullock, guarded by Mackey, back to Turner. Got it. Well, he looked good in blue and white, huh? Well, Rick Pitino's got another guy that can knock him down. He has 62 points in the game, by the way. Main Central pounded them, and he got 62. At the other end, Mercer. Back in the hands of Hood. Ah, quick hands by Turner. Oh. Beautiful pass. I guess you put a little tape on your ear, you get up higher. Maybe that's what they're doing. <laughs> McCoy. <laughs> Stuck. Final five seconds. Three seconds left. And look at Pierce get back, too. I mean, he made the jump at the end of the game, but he ran back. And Mercy, what an easy one. Final score, 126, 115. <laughs> for Bill Rastry and Andrea Joyce, for lunch for stay. So long for St. Louis. Next, bumps and jumps. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports.